Here's what to do when your iPhone won't download apps. First, if you're using Wi-Fi, try cellular data. If you're using cellular data, try Wi-Fi. That's right, yep. Sometimes it's an internet problem, and this is the easiest way to eliminate the possibility of a bad network or a cellular network problem. Yep, secondly, try closing and reopening the app store. There might just be a software crash within the app store and you can't do anything in there. So Indeed. if your iPhone has Face ID, swipe up from the bottom to the center of the screen swipe the app up and off the top of the screen. If your iPhone has a home button, double press that home button. Yeah, but you up. should never have to do that, David. You shouldn't have to, but sometimes you Yeah, do. we don't live in iPhone utopia. Sometimes apps crash, including the App Store. Yep. Next, we're going to go right back into the App Store and make sure that you're actually logged in. So if you tap on your account icon, upper right-hand corner of the screen, if you're not logged in, it'll probably be like a little gray Ooh, person. Gray person, yeah. But I'm logged in right now. So if you are logged in, scroll all the way down Tap sign out and sign back in again. That could fix a minor account issue. Mm -hmm. that, that is probably one of the main reasons why your iPhone won't download apps. Apple ID problems. And we're going to address some more of those a little bit later on in this video. But before we do, what's next, David? We are going to check our payment method. If the payment method on your iPhone is out of date, I recently got a new debit card, had to go in and update that information. And you didn't even tell me. Didn't even tell you. So let's go to the settings app. Tap on your name at the top of the screen, then tap Payment and Shipping. Here you'll see a list of your payment methods. Check out your payment methods. You can tap on it. We'll blur all this out. I guess it's already blurred out thanks to Apple. Uh, and just make sure all this information is up to date. If it's not, that's probably the reason why it's not working. That's a good point. All yeah. right, so now we got to check date and time settings. Date and time settings matter because of security. The way that security works in the internet and with the Apple App Store with a bunch of things is that it checks to see what time it is on your phone and compares that to the time that the license, the certificate was issued. So if they don't match, there's problems. Let's go and check yep. it out. So I'm gonna go back to the main page of the settings. I'm gonna press and hold here on back and just come down here and go to settings. All the way back to the beginning at Surprise once. tip for you. Next, scroll down and tap general then tap date and time. Just make sure this switch next to set automatically is turned on. Yep. That's it. That's easy. It. If it's not turned on, turn it on. Turn it on, I can fix all sorts of problems. Yep. Next. Well, we're gonna restart our iPhone. Could be a software issue. Restart it, turn it off, turn it back on. Give it a fresh start. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the go-to fix for a lot of problems, you know? Uh, you it, you it restart your iPhone. Un, you can't unplug it and plug it back in anymore, so this is what you can do. Yep. After restarting your iPhone, check for an iOS update. App Store is a native iOS app. To update it, you need to update the software on your iPhone. There's no App Store updates in the App Store. You can't update the App Store from the App Store. Right. That would cause some sort of a problem, 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 problem. in the space-time continuum, I think. Let's tap back to general, then tap software update. And here, just check for an iOS update. If one's available, tap download and install. Wow, we're burning through this one. We're burning through this one. It's burning through to my soul. Next, check out Apple's system status page. We'll link to that in the description section below. What you'll find there is a whole bunch of Apple services. And when things are going well, there's a bunch of green dots. When things aren't going well, there are orange or red dots. Make sure the dot next to App Store is green. Indeed. And the dot next to Apple ID yep. is green. And if, if there are a bunch of red dots, you know, just leave it alone for an hour. Apple will fix it come back. The next tip we want to tell you to do is to go to appleid.apple.com on your iPhone or on your computer. It doesn't really matter which, but do so in Safari or Chrome. Use a web browser. Don't use the settings app because it's not the same thing. A lot of times what happens is security questions need to be reset. Mm -hmm. That was usually what the problem was at the Apple store. And so then we would just have people log in and, and all of a sudden, if you go on the website, something will pop up and say like, hey, your account password has expired or you need to turn on two-step authentication or your security passwords need to be updated. And, and then after you're able to log in successfully, then that sort of unlocks everything in the app store. So go to appleid.apple.com. Link in the description. If you're still here, well, it's time to contact Apple support. Might be some deeper account issue only a higher up customer support representative could could address for you. Yeah, the higher ups at Apple. Yeah. Say, where I need to talk to your I CEO. Can't, I can't download Angry Birds. You're right. Where's Tim where's Cook? Where's Tim Cook? Yeah, no, definitely talk to their support because they will help you. Yep. They're that, the only ones who can at that point. Yep, that's what to do when your iPhone won't download apps. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if we help fix your problem. And if not, leave an angry comment and tell us that we are stupid. Yep. And don't forget be the first time. Yeah. And please subscribe. <laughs> please join this channel. We'd really appreciate it.